This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So here we got Crusher Khrushchev. Crusher Khrushchev in the ring right now with Todd Champion. He's a damn Russian. Damn well, Russian. Let me just mention this is not a good show so far. No, it's you know what? The studio shows were better. Well, here's the thing. I love the promos and the promos on the show have been good, but, and I love the way this show looks and feels like I want a crowd, but the crowd doesn't give a fuck about this. Look at the crowd. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about Crusher Khrushchev or Todd nope. champion. And these nope. some bitches are going to go 10 fucking minutes. Yep. And next up, we got Nelson Oral and a motherfucker named Mitch snow. They're going to go four minutes. Mm. Then we got Tully Blanchard and Sam Houston. They're going to go damn near 10 minutes. And I can't believe this is real, but we got Ricky and Robert taking on Ole and Arn. Mm. Here's a spoiler. It ain't short. And then we'll finish with, uh, Bobby and Dennis taking on dusty Rhodes and Magnum TA. Wow. We're going to go off the air hot, but God dang, it's going to be hard to get there. Mm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm missing. I mean, I'm missing at studio loving. Yeah, man. Hey, real, not... real question. Can I ask you a question? It just be me and you, you give me a real answer and you not have to put a lot of thought into it. Okay. You ever get whacked off in that studio? No, you never got any loving in that studio. No. Did you ever see any of the boys take care of business in that studio? In the in TBS studios? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, nobody ever tried to be funny and get one in there before the crowd was in there get one in no. there after get one in the back. No, not at TBS. I've seen it in the arenas, of course. but, but I've never seen it in the studios. No, I think, I think there was a perception and I think it was well established to the boys that, uh, you need to behave yourself while you're here because this is different. Make sense to you? Yes. So, um, back in the day when you were running arena shows, how many trips to your car would you make? Uh, uh sometimes I forget my coat one. Mm. Who do you think held the record for trips to their car? Oh my God. Would it be Ricky Morton? <laughs> Probably Ricky and Robert in 86, no doubt. You're just looking for shit, aren't you? No. I mean, listen, it's a 10 minute Todd champion match. We'll talk about what you want to talk about. Go ahead. No, no. I'm just trying to think. Hey, did you know the night before? Oh, oh shit. or actually this same day. Yeah. You guys had the world champion, Ric Flair, not here wrestling for you in Columbia, but instead he was in Kansas city, Kansas wrestling for central States, the dying days of central States. Mm. And do you know who challenged him for the world heavyweight title? Bulldog, Bob Brown cousin junior are you serious cousin, cousin junior. junior cousin junior <laughs> he also wrestled as ox brody moon dog cujo larry <laughs> king king harley hog and big daddy cyrus <laughs> king harley hog <laughs> i, I want to start referring to you as king tony hog king anthony hog <laughs> Has anybody ever called you King hog ever? No, uh, -uh. there'd be no, there'd be no really logical reason to, you know, there was a wave uh, that we all went through when we were children where people start naming things. You ever name your gimmick? No. Uh, uh. you ever know a girl who named her boobs? Uh, yeah. Oh, so tell us some, some fun girl boob names that you heard over the years as a single man, as a single man. Yeah. Uh, boys wait wait they called their boobs boys mm -hmm. hmm that's weird mm, gotta do something to adjust the boys here okay I, i've heard people say i've heard ladies say the girls i've i've yeah. heard girls too but i've heard boys of course puppies is the the famous one well now that was like that was a jerry lawler 90s thing were you saying puppies before that no 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 okay so, uh, chat me up. You never named your gimmick anything. No, I heard you named your gimmick. Captain crunch. I mean, let's just talk about it. No, no. Look at the floor here. A wood floor. 
That's that's different, isn't it? You think usually it's a concrete floor or something like that. This is well, this is the township auditorium. So this was a place, as you could tell, kind of like where we just ran in Miami. It's a it's a theater, or as Bruce Pritchard would have said, theater. Theater, yeah. Yep, that's what it was. Well, nothing like a bear hug about 25 minutes into a show. Nothing like a bear hug. Nothing like a bear hug. This would, uh, this is, uh, this hell of a move here. I yeah. mean, you could tell how much pain Todd Champion is in. He's trying to stretch the, uh, see, he got out of it, man. I didn't know if he could or not. And he hit him on the, hit him on the, uh, on the ears and he sold his forehead. Look at Todd. Oh God. Well, they, they, those, uh, those kids standing up, they've taken a lot of shots in them. Those kids are like really into this. I feel strongly that saving money is important. You know, if it's not something we worry about now, boy, we are really going to worry about it later. And I want to help you get out of debt faster and do it with cheaper monthly payments. I'm talking to you. If you're in a 30 year loan, now is the time to take years off of your loan. We're routinely helping our listeners cut five, 10, even 15 years off their loan. And you can do this without perfect credit with no money out of pocket. You've just got to start at SaveWithConrad.com. Yes, man. Great crowd reaction shot. Anything else to talk about here? Anything else you'd like to talk about? Well, we could talk about the uh, fan who jumped in the ring at AEW. Yeah, I'd rather not. We could talk about how Jim Cornette attacked the fan when the fan tried to take credit and uh, say, hey, uh, I did it for you guys. Talking about Jim and his co-host. And Kenny Omega extended an olive branch to Jim Cornette. Can you believe that? I don't know, man. Maybe we're turning a positive leaf here. Maybe wrestling is going to be a little more positive. I doubt it. Okay. Oh, uh, well, the, finally the end of this match, I think, I hope they're not taking a break in the middle of this thing. Did we miss the finish? Yes. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.